Hey guys, welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be doing one of my cleaning marathons. These videos do so well because they are hours of cleaning motivation. You get to do everything in these videos. Not only do you get cleaning, we get organizing, decluttering, and a little bit of decorating. So in today's video, you will see a couple of my very best videos put together. I don't edit any of those because I'm gonna let them play all the way through and it is gonna give you hours upon hours of extreme cleaning motivation. So if you're new here, I like to do these at least once a month so that it is an extended time where you can get some upbeat music and be able to get the encouragement and the motivation you need. If you're new here and you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we are gonna go ahead and get started. Hey you guys, welcome back. We are gonna be doing another cleaning video full of a ton of cleaning motivation. You guys, I have two weeks, yes, two weeks to get my house ready to be put on the market. So we have a ton of stuff that we need to do. You are gonna be getting a ton of cleaning motivation. Don't forget to subscribe because we will be posting videos like this every single week. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off today's video cleaning up some of the mess that we made after cutting Noah's hair. We have been doing the boys haircuts for about a year or so and I learned how to do it on YouTube and Chris did as well. At first I was really scared but I feel like they are really starting to look nice. The kids love to get their haircuts because mainly they want a lollipop but when you're spending 15 to 20 dollars per kid it just doesn't make sense i can buy a giant bag of lollipops for a lot cheaper than that so i do their hair and we always do them in here and i'm going to sweep up everything and that is how we are going to start today's video it's a mess but you know someone's got to do it Moving into our dining room area, I'm gonna clean everything off in here. One thing that I did differently in today's video that I have not done in my other ones is I took a moment and remembered to stop and show you guys show you guys the mess after each room. So definitely stay tuned after each room. I vacuum or we clean carpets or whatever it may be. You will actually see all of the dirt and dust and dog hair that comes out of the floors. Um, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It is absolutely insane. I don't feel like it does it justice if we don't clean out the vacuum canister um, after each room. So I wanted to show you, you're gonna be blown away. It is a regular occurrence to find lizards in the house, especially because we have cats, but they get in constantly. You'll see them just crawling on the walls. I like to have a lot of fresh air, so I'll, especially in the morning, I will open the French doors and they come in or the cats will bring them in. So yeah, that's a normal thing. You will, in fact, see lizards in your house, baby alligators at your front porch and big giant alligators in your backyard. Um, I don't think people really realize that, but in Florida, they are, uh, alligators especially, are protected, so you can't do anything about them. They don't usually mess with you, um, but you know that they're there, and you just stay out of the little ponds, but I know people will see them, like, on the internet, and you probably think, is that even real? That is 100% real. They are everywhere. I have literally been driving down the street and seen an alligator on the side of the road. Usually, they're just going to one pond or one lake to the other but and they don't they don't really mess with you but they are scary very scary
I wanted to show you guys Chris teaching the littlest boys how to unload the dishwasher. We've been having them all take part in chores more and more and it's been really sweet. I honestly just love watching him teach our kids to do things. It was just a sweet little thing. Um, and while he was doing that, I'm filming over here because I wanted to show you this rug. Um, before we had our realtor come over, you guys, I'm not one that believes in like Mondays and they're just destined, destined to be bad days. I just don't think that way. I love Mondays. I love new beginnings. But on this particular day, you guys, I was trying to frantically clean the house for the realtor to come over and just take a little peek. And he's also a friend of ours. I knew it didn't need to be perfect, but I knew that I wanted it to at least be picked up. And Hazel had gotten one of the kids crayons and I was like, okay, well, I'll just vacuum it up. And I did. And then little pieces of the chewed uh, crayon got in the bristles of the vacuum. And as I'm vacuum vacuuming my white rug, streaks of red crayon. I thought I was absolutely going to die. I was mortified. And then I spilt soy sauce all over the carpet as well. So Chris is going to clean the carpet and I cannot wait to show you everything get pulled out. It was so nasty. I want to let down my guard and just fall. Cause someone was before you And someone let me go And someone must know for sure Cause someone was before you And someone let me go But I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the bitter ones Some say love will only bring you down Some say love Nobody's like us When people see us, they know uh, I feel so much for you so he tried his best to get it out, but I'm going to end up using, as you see here, the bleach pen just to kind of let it sit on there for a second. That did the trick. I don't, I mean, you absolutely could not do this unless the rug was pretty darn white, but that's what we had to use. Some say love's not for the bitter ones. Some say love will only bring you down. Some say love can So I'm going to tackle the kitchen. I put on some of the gloves that we've had in the garage for the longest time. My mom sells medical supplies and laboratory supplies. I may have mentioned that in the past. Um, that's where we get our like PDI wipes, but I've been wanting to use gloves more and more, especially with expecting. I just wanted to be careful and my nails are really brittle right now, but they broke immediately. So I took them off and put these gloves on instead, but I was really proud of myself for at least wearing my gloves more often. I was kidding myself Now I know you don't love me Even though you said That you'd never leave me oh, But I know now I shouldn't trust a word that comes out of your mouth I was kidding myself Why did you have to turn into a liar? Now you're gone Right away from me Leaving me on my own Can't you see You had my heart I'm 
So I have seen in the past where there have been comments about these videos, there's someone always cleaning their sink or something like that. And I just wanted to say, first off, I try not to really focus on comments like that because unless you're really doing this job, it's hard to explain yourself, especially everyone that's doing these videos. But, you know, I don't want you guys to see so much what we're doing. I mean, definitely, you know, watch what we're doing, but don't so much focus on, oh, another person cleaning their sink or so boring watching someone do their dishes or cleaning a toilet. That's not fun. Don't focus on those things. Focus on um, how we're doing it. Does it make you, when you watch, does it make you feel good in the sense that it makes you feel encouraged? It makes you feel motivated? Does the music make you want to get up and move? And does it make you feel chill and calm? Whatever the case may be, that's what I want you guys to focus on. So many times I struggle with, okay, what am I going to clean today? I want to mix it up. I don't want it to be the same old stuff for you guys. But on the days where it is the same old stuff, like me cleaning my kitchen or making my bed, don't focus so much on what I'm doing. Focus on the music. Focus on how it makes you feel because that's the goal. I don't necessarily need to teach anybody how to clean a cake pan or a cake dish like this, but it's the music. So envision yourself cleaning while I'm cleaning and this is really upbeat music. That's why I choose the music I choose because it's what makes me want to move. So I want to help you guys. And I do understand because I've done it. I will sit down and I will just watch these videos sometimes. But a lot of times for moms and busy people, we just turn these videos on to have background noise. And so that's kind of the point of everything we're doing. So I just wanted to put that tidbit in there. Try not to focus so much on the stuff that we're doing often, you know, if it is the kitchen or cleaning a sink or making our bed, try to just think about how it makes you feel. And it's good background music for you guys. And when I talk, I'm not talking just to tell you guys random things. I'm hoping that it feels like you have a friend cleaning with you because I know you guys know if you're here, you're family, and I just want you guys to feel like you're not alone.
I'm using my same old SOS little wool brush here that I used just a moment ago and I'm actually wiping it over the glass cooktop. It does not scratch it at all and I had some really rough stains on there so I wanted to use this. And then I'm moving on to my e-cloth. I love my e-cloths you guys. I will try to get a link if you guys remind me or you're interested. I'll get one and I'll put it in my description box or respond to your comments. But these things are amazing. a point of showing you guys what I am using it with every room and every time I switch to anything else I'm gonna be showing you guys um, this is my favorite granite and stone cleaner you can use it for the kitchen or the bathroom and it smells amazing and then my good old fashion aqua microfiber cloths that I purchased from Marshall's I got about 10 of them I think for $7.99 or $9.99 I have been on the hunt for another pack so if you guys see them in your TJ Maxx Marshall's or home goods let me know. I'm looking for this color. I need them. This little tool here is amazing. I've seen one for a while just sitting in the stores and I've wanted to get one. It was $19 and it is well worth it. Highly recommend it. It cleaned around all of the sinks and everything as you'll see and it cleaned it really, really well. So this is a great purchase. Guess it never hit you our conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time inside all that so I am not posting on my normal day today and I can't give all the details as of yet but I will let you guys know because you know you guys are family to me and I want you guys I always say thank you for joining me on this journey so I, I don't want to keep anything from you and so I wanted to let you know that I wasn't able to post on my normal day because I spent the night before in the emergency room. I was working, um, working out actually, and I had noticed, I had felt something when I was. So when I went to go take a shower, I noticed that I was bleeding quite a bit. And um, this is my sixth baby, so I've never experienced that before. So, you know, I kind of sat there and thought, well, there's nothing they can do. But then, you know, I'm in a, like a, a Facebook group for moms who are expecting around January. And they said, you know, you might as well go check, especially since it's a holiday. And I did. And they ran my blood and they did an ultrasound. And my levels, my HCG levels were well over in the 2000s. But um, we weren't able to see a lot. Um, definitely could see the pregnancy. Um, but and we could see the yolk sac, but we couldn't see the fetal pole And so he told me I needed to contact my doctor to get my levels Tested again and then also to do another ultrasound. So I don't really have much to say at this moment Cried a lot the past couple of days feel very sad, but also trying to get moments of hope that um, when I go and see the doctor and get my levels checked and do another ultrasound that there will be good news. So I would love some 
prayers and good vibes sent our way because it doesn't matter if it's your sixth baby or your first. Um, it's still really, really hard to think that it might be ending so soon when you had so much hope. So I would love some prayers. Um, and then also head over to my, I have in my description box and I'll put in a card above our family channel. Um, I will be posting everything about this pregnancy over there, but I just thought that you guys deserved an explanation on why I didn't post on time. So I just appreciate you guys and your love and your well wishes. So just continue to keep us on in your prayers. Hopefully we get some answers this week, but I will be posting and updating on our family channel. You share your love so easily Still I'm insecure I hear all the things you don't say So I can be sure But here we go again, go again Do my best to pretend, to pretend Yeah, here we go again, go again Do my best to pretend, to pretend using a clean microfiber cloth I got a new one and I'm gonna wipe down these bar stools again I am preparing to get this house ready for pictures to put on the market so I want everything to look really crisp and white and you know this is something that we definitely overlook quite a bit with the kids you know how it is so I wanted to take care of this right now and then wipe down the baseboards as well if I mentioned it but I put um, a new little duvet on our bed this is from Bed Bath & Beyond got it super cheap it actually has an insert for the down comforter but it is way too thick and way too hot so I do not put the comforter in there and it is plenty thick you don't even need it um, but I love it I think it's really really pretty kind of my cozy cottage feel and then I'm using my little lint roller because Hazel's hair is out of control out of control and I can't even handle it. Cause the 
Okay, real quick, I'm going to clean off my counter and then I'm gonna show you what I use to strip laundry. So I've taken all of Chris's work clothes, which really hold odors because he, we live in Florida and he does AC contracting and I can't catch my breath these days. So I'm gonna take all his clothes and I'm gonna strip them, which basically means I am going to use um, Arm & Hammer Laundry boost and the borax and some Tide powder. I'm gonna let that sit with some really hot water, and I'm gonna show you everything up close so you know what I'm doing. And it is going to basically release any nasty bacteria, old odors, stains, and whatnot out of the clothes. We don't realize this, but even when you wash your clothes, you don't get all of the hidden gunk out of there. If you've ever washed something, and you're like, oh, it still just doesn't smell clean. This is what you do. You can do this to any clothes. It's especially good for work clothes, workout clothes, or just clothes that you have left in the washer too long and have that mildew smell, and then you like quickly wash it again and throw just a little extra detergent and a little extra softener, hoping for the best. And then you open up your dryer after you transferred it and it's all dry. You're like, I hope that doesn't smell later. Moments like that, especially towels. So I'm gonna clean off my countertop really quick and then we are going to strip the laundry. thinking about painting these cabinets like a gray color let me know what you think they definitely need to be touched up um, before we sell so I was thinking about going gray let me know in the comments below gray or white what do you think and then maybe gold handles I thought would be really pretty as well
I am going to zoom through cleaning over on Chris's side. These are, I hate cleaning over here because you cannot get good angles. There are certain places in my house that I just don't like to film. This is one of them and then the bathrooms because they're so tight. But, so I'm just gonna zoom through here and then I'm gonna move on into our shower. I'm gonna use the little device for the shower because we have like little hexagon tiles and I'm trying to get around each and every tile, which I honestly love meticulous cleaning like this. It just I don't know I get in the flow and it makes me feel so relaxed um, I used to do cleaning like this when I was like eight nine ten years old I would stay up really late and clean tile <laughs> grout lines and tile my mom thought I was nuts and so now she laughs she's like it doesn't surprise me that you're on YouTube sh cleaning your house showing people how to clean their house because this is all you've ever done because literally it like three years old this is no exaggeration I remember cleaning my room and it being so perfect and then, then my sister would walk in and I would scream because she and I don't clean the same way and so even as adults we don't clean the same way so my mom just laughed she's like you're literally doing your dream job Here is the lineup for the laundry stripping. I'm super excited to show you guys that. Please excuse the background, that is Ruby. She has a problem with barking. So you're supposed to do a quarter cup of the Arm & Hammer and then a quarter cup of the Borax and then you do a half a cup of the detergent in super hot water. You let that dissolve before you put your clothes in and then just throw whatever you want in there. I would recommend doing like all darks and then all whites and then I put it in a jar here and I just mixed it all together. You can do this to dirty clothes. You can do this to clean clothes. It will work just as well for clean clothes, believe it or not. So this is not a chemical reaction. This is pulling trapped in dirt out of the clothes. You guys, it's amazing. So one thing I will add, when we were younger, we were extremely poor, extremely poor, you guys. I did not have a very cushy uh, upbringing, and it wasn't until I think I was about 17 did my mom get a really good job, and so it was tough. It was really tough, and cleaning was a way that I de-stressed. I didn't know that as a child, but I know that now, and so even as an adult, that's how I de-stress, so I'm glad I get to clean for you guys. So I'm just stomping out some of the water in his clothes. Look at that. Do you see the brown water? This is just dirt and bacteria that has gotten trapped in the clothes. That's all it is. And here's all the water. Whoa. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Like I had mentioned before, this just gets to any of the trapped dirt in stinky odors and everything and bacteria um, that's in your clothes it just helps getting it out that's what it's called stripping and then I will take these clothes and just wash them like regular 
and they are good to go. Guys, look at that. You can't even see. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, we are done. We are done cleaning. I wiped down the baseboards. I'm gonna go throw these clothes in the laundry and that is a wrap. So done. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna be painting on the baseboards and doing any touch-up paint that needs to be done to prepare the house for selling. Now that we've gotta have someone come in here and take pictures, all of the things that we have overlooked are like blatant, like right in front of my face. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. We'll be posting weekly cleaning motivation as well as all other types of things. I'm gonna be doing a DIY back porch video. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm gonna take you along with me, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet already, hit that subscribe button. Before we go any further, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Next week, I'm gonna be doing a big giveaway and I'm gonna be doing one once a month. So next week will be the one for May, and then June, then July, then August. And then I'm gonna sprinkle in some smaller giveaways in between. I just wanna give back to you guys because you mean so much to me and things have been really hard. I know for everyone these past few months, and this is just a small token of saying like, thank you for being here. Your time is valuable and it means the world to me. So again, hit that subscribe button and I hope you guys have the best day. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next one. Hey friends, welcome back to another Extreme Clean With Me. We are gonna be cleaning the entire house today. I wanted to start this video off just a little bit different with some Florida rain. I find rain extremely therapeutic and soothing, so while it was raining, I figured I should get some footage of that and share that with you guys. Let me know in the comments below, do you enjoy the rain? I do, as long as I don't have to go anywhere. We are gonna get started cleaning. If you like cleaning videos like these, I will be posting them every single week, so don't forget to subscribe. I'm looking for a brand new star. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I have played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket. Run away by myself for a minute. So in today's video, you will actually see me pretty much taking care of the dishes twice. This video is a whole house, all day cleaning. So I will start the dishes here. I will run the dishwasher and later in this video, you will see me unloading those dishes. I am going to use my Rubbermaid attachment here. I know it looks like a giant toothbrush, but it is for cleaning and getting into the crevices. And I purchased this from Target. I 
remember the last time I did a deep oven clean, you guys were telling me I should not use the aluminum foil, but honestly, it works for me. I have ha never had any trouble with it, so it is free, and that is what I'm going to use because I, I don't see a problem with it. felt so good to spend the entire day deep cleaning the house every room got touched and honestly I love I've said this before but I love doing this especially waking up in the morning and having the house all clean but I mean it was extra clean today it felt so good and it made me feel so energized and so motivated I find that the hardest part is just starting so if you can just, if you're, if you're having trouble and you don't want to get things done, just start, give yourself 10 minutes and you will see more times than not that 10 minutes will keep going and going because the momentum happens and you are able to get so energized by seeing the things that you are tackling and getting done. It is the best therapy. I love it. And I have been struggling with getting things, just getting up and getting mo motivated and getting moving. But I reminded myself again the other day, you just got to start. You have to start somewhere. Kind of embarrassing to say that we always have these laundry baskets right here our laundry room is so small I think I'm gonna start using Isabella's room since she's not in there to put these baskets but this is the first thing that people see when they come in and you think it would help me get motivated to just do all of the laundry but I struggle so hard with staying on top of the laundry I think I did oh my word probably like seven loads the other day because I just I just started getting so lax with it so if you want to make your life easier just do one load a day I'm telling you from experience not because I'm a professional just because I know that's what works but it's even hard for me to get there and do it consistently Whenever it rains, I will usually take my plants outside. I only have this one here, a peace lily, and I am so proud of myself that I have kept her alive for a really long time, but I really think the secret is allowing it to get some natural rain water. It perks right up, and she's so beautiful. I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions. But somehow it came to an end. Last week we did a massive decluttering. It was huge. You guys loved that video. I will put that in a card above and it will also be in my playlist that I have in my description box. If you guys 
watch a video and you are not done and you want more cleaning motivation, whether to watch or just to have some upbeat music, I will always have my cleaning playlist in my description box. You can go there and there are days worth of cleaning videos that you can watch. But last week we did the decluttering. You guys loved it. And Thursday, I'm going to have a bonus video. We are going to be doing some deep cleaning. I'm going to be scrubbing the baseboards with magic erasers. I'm going to be painting the baseboards. And I think I'm going to add a little self care routine with that. If I do just a self care routine that will not do very well on my channel. That's just how YouTube does things. So I'm going to do a deep clean and self-care routine. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure your notifications are on so you can see that on Thursday. So I made a little area over here. We did just have the orchid, but I decided to add this basket, a couple of books to prop it up on, and my Desert Mist diffuser. I love it. She is so beautiful. You can have different color lights. You can have a candle lit look. It is beautiful, and I added some really vibrant Citrus Fresh in there because it gives me so much energy and is so invigorating, and I love having this little area over here. I feel like it makes it so cozy. I push you back, I hold you close. Push you back, hold you close. Start a fight, there you go. I get a stable, I get a stable. In my bed, all alone, never know when you're home. I get a stable, I get a stable. Push you back, hold you close. Start a fight, there you go. There's my little sweetheart. She is always my little sidekick, her and Ruby. You guys love seeing her and she is such a doll. Many of you ask me, I try to answer it, but she is a cavachon, an F1B cavachon. She's supposed to be hypoallergenic and non-shedding, but mm, she sheds. So I should have done my research a little bit better, but we are in love with her and I guess we will be dealing with shedding for the rest of her days. She's a love and I don't regret her one bit. She is a part of the family and I just can't live without her. I'm going to go through the room and dust like always. And as I'm doing this voiceover, I realize I need to dust already again. I don't think I will ever purchase black furniture. I'm debating on whether I want to chalk paint it or just get new furniture. I've had this for nine years now. I love it. We got it from rooms to go and they still have it to this day. They have a ton of other colors, but I know that I would like something lighter now just to make the room feel more open.
So I'm going to fix up my little area here. If you have been here for a while, you know I usually have everything up by the sink, by the right side of the sink, but I just felt like it was always so cluttered. So I'm taking this old tray that I actually was using the diffuser and all the oils in my bedroom. I put a little wooden tray there to make a little section under my TV and I've taken the glass tray which I got from Home Goods a very long time ago and I'm putting these dollar store glass containers and I'm using them to store my toothbrush and brushes that they are perfect. So I am going to do some of Chris's clothes. I'm going to strip them here. I am just adding a half a cup of Tide powder and then a quarter cup of the Borax and a quarter cup of the Arm & Hammer Laundry Booster. I just mixed the two. If you saw my last laundry stripping video in the big glass jar, just mix the two. So I just basically take a half a cup and that works for me. Super, super hot water, as hot as you can possibly get it. Let everything dissolve and then throw your clothes in it. While I decided to do this, we've been trying to do it every single week and it has worked. Then Josiah decided he wanted to get his shoes in on, on the action, which they needed it because they were stinky. He likes to leave them outside. We also took Chris's clean work shirts that were hanging up in his closet and we are going to strip those as well. <laughs> As much as I love my handheld vacuums, all my vacuums, you guys know I love them. When it comes to sweeping, especially the bathroom, I really love using a broom because you can get right up on the baseboards and kind of dust those. So it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. Of vacuums I want to remind you guys I'm gonna have the video in my description box as well as in the cards above right here I have a video and my friend and I are giving away a shark vacuum the one you see here in the video and the one she uses as well you want to make sure you go to that video make sure you're subscribed and make sure you let us know that you've done everything that is in the description box super easy all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and you can be entered in to winning one of those vacuums. I think we're going to let it go on for one more week. I wanted to give it enough time so everybody could watch the video and everyone could enter. So we wanted it to go on for at least three weeks. So I think next week we will be stopping it. I think, I think. So make sure you go to that video. Make sure you're subscribed. You want to let us know that you've done everything so you can be entered because you want one of these vacuums. They are amazing.
So I am actually using the old uh, paper towel I used to clean the mirror and I've taken my PDI wipes because I couldn't find my gloves, put it under there to protect my hands and I am wiping the baseboards, the wall and the floor because they are nasty. I also wanted to say in case you guys ask where my shirt is from jane.com i get my t-shirts there the majority of time and they i think it was eight dollars and i love it i don't have a link for it but you can try jane.com and see if they still have them in stock Moving into my boys room I am just gonna tidy up this room and kind of get it ready for them when they go to bed tonight I will always tidy it up before they go to bed if it's messy so if I can do this now great and I know that it needs a good vacuuming I will add the video above where I showed the complete bedroom transformation in here. This is still one of my favorite room transformations I have done. I love the way everything turned out. This room feels so cohesive and cozy. It's just my favorite and my kids love it too. And they hang out in here a lot. We are going to unload the dishes. You can tell that this was a all day cleaning. So we're going to unload the dishes. I'm going to take care of this and then I am going to move on to the final stages of today's cleaning. I got your letter. Guess this is better. You win sometimes, lose sometimes. No need to apologize. It was the distance we have between us. It broke us down in disguise, no need to apologize ooh, 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 ooh. But I can help that I miss you now And I need to reminisce this cause ooh, 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 ooh. We're still at a moment and they keep coming back to me It is time to mop this entire house. You will see the mess that my son made. He actually tried to get himself some grape juice and he dropped the entire full bottle all over the floor. So I will be showing you that because it was a mess and they actually went to my mom's for a little bit while I was cleaning because some family was in town and they told me I could finish mopping and doing what I needed to do. But as he was walking out, he was like, um, mom, you know, since you're gonna mop, I should tell you, I spilled grape juice. And I was like, well, where? And he's like, well, I cleaned it up. 
but it's behind the refrigerator. Okay, bye. And then they left. So I'm going to be showing you really what he's talking about. It was such a mess. Even if it's hard to see, I'll try to let go. It's not easy, you know. Something's not meant to be. Let's skip the apologies. That I miss you now, and I need to reminisce this cause we still at a moment and they keep coming back to me. Yeah. I can't help that I miss you now. I'm going to finish up mopping in here and then I'm going to move into my bedroom. I love mopping these floors. These are actual, actually engineered vinyl floors and they clean up so well. And if anything gets on them, you can just pretty much scrape it with your fingernail and it comes right off. Love them. And they're softer than tile. So I love that. I feel like tiled, it, tile is very like hard and cold. So these vinyl floors are amazing i highly recommend them and they're completely waterproof which thank god because as soon as we put them in our dishwasher broke and started pouring everywhere So I want to show you what it looks like now. Look at all of this dirty water. The bathroom actually kind of smells because it pulls all of the odors out of the clothes. So the water is completely cold at this point because that's what you're supposed to do. Is scorching hot and then completely cold. Let it sit there and then pull everything out. Throw it in the wash. You don't need additional detergent and wash it and dry it works like a charm works really well and it works on even white clothes and clean clothes so if you really want to test this seriously throw a whole bunch of like your workout clothes that are clean and you'll see how much it pulls out look at this So we will put those in the wash and then take care of that. But the sheets and comforter are clean. You saw me put that in the washing machine many hours before. So I'm going to make my bed. I've already taken a shower. I am so ready. I, I'm telling you, cleaning is totally my cardio. I'm sweaty and it is a full body workout. So if you guys don't want to go to the gym, 
deep clean your house. I'm not even joking. It works so well. You'll realize the next day that every muscle hurts. And if you've got some really good music and you dance along with it, you'll burn even more calories. I want to thank you all for watching today's video. Make sure you leave a heart or just let me know that you are still here to the very end. That means so much to me. Don't forget to like this video. It just shows me that, hey, you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet already, hit that subscribe button. We have a weekly cleaning motivation coming, and I'm also going to have a lot of decor as well. So I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. I love you all so, so much. I appreciate you more than you know, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Lynn White, mom of five, and today I am bringing you tons of cleaning motivation and some decorating inspiration as well. I am also gonna be showing you some creative ways on how to store your household cleaners. So today's video is gonna be full of some encouragement, motivation, and tons of inspiration. Before we go too far into the video, I wanted to let you know that today's video is extra special. I am doing today's video with my sweet friend, Brittany. I'm sure you guys already know who she is. She has one channel, Brittany and Baby, and then she's got another one. And this one is so much fun. It's tons of DIYs and cleaning motivation. You guys are going to love it. It is with her husband, Frank, and they are a growing family of soon to be seven. She is due in the upcoming months and I am so excited to see their family grow. She is one of the most gentle hearted, kind people I have met here on YouTube and I have enjoyed getting to know her these past couple of years. We first met up in Savannah, Georgia and that is when our friendship developed and it has been such a pleasure calling her a friend she is always there with a encouraging word when I need it and I have just enjoyed her so so much so we have similar content on our channels and I would love for you to go check out her new channel and if you are here from Brittany's channel thank you so much for stopping by it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button before you go any further I've got some giveaways coming up for anyone that is subscribed to my channel so I don't want you guys to miss that I started today's cleaning in the kitchen and while I was doing some of these pots and pans I noticed that there was a lot of baked on grime so I'm gonna give it a good cleaning this has some bacon grease on it we bake our bacon does anybody else do that I feel like it is the best way to make it I cannot go back to frying it. it is so 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 good like this so I'm gonna clean this off very well and then I'm gonna add one of these little SOS Brillo pads and I'm gonna get some of this caked on grime off of here I have been searching high and low for some gloves for my to use while I'm cleaning in the house and I cannot find any anywhere if you guys can comment below if you know where I could order some that would mean so much to me because I have taken off the dip powder on my nails and they are so thin and I do not want to be getting my hands too wet and I've always wanted to wear gloves while cleaning and I just don't think about it but now it's on my mind and I can't find them anywhere so let me know in the comments below if you know where they are selling some kitchen gloves but anyway moving on that was a long rant about gloves I'm going to continue cleaning these pots and pans with this Brillo pad and it is 
making this job so much easier. The stuff comes off so well and I'm glad I'm taking care of this now. This is something I need to do every so often so I can make these pans still look pretty nice. So I'm not very sure how long I'm supposed to use these little pads here, but after I give my pans, my pots and pans a good cleaning, I will usually throw them away. I have saved it in the past and I feel like it just starts to leak rust and all that. And so it's just for me better off to just toss them. But if you know how long they are good for, let me know in the comments below because I have no clue. To be able to find myself shouldn't be so complicated. If I listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start over new. Yeah, I'm on my way now. I'm gonna dry all of these pans. They are all clean and they look really, really good. I should have done this probably a year ago, if I'm being honest, but you know, there's no time like the present. Let me know how you guys are doing being stuck in home stuck at home i am definitely an introvert i've said that so many times i decompress at home and that's just who i am i mean i can go out i can have fun i like balance but ultimately i'd rather be in my safe place but having to stay home i definitely feel the extrovert side of me coming out i miss other adults and conversation so i am looking forward to everything going back to normal god willing everything and everyone stays safe and we survive this together I do not have any glass stove cleaner, so I am using this Dawn Power Wash. This stuff is amazing. Um, I made some grits this morning. I made a big old country breakfast for everybody, and the grits always spill over. So I've just let this sit for a little bit, and I will also put this in the sink. Um, I just let it sit on there because I love the way it smells and it really does get anything off of there. I also like to use it whenever I have baked on stuff on my casserole dishes. It works so well, so I definitely recommend it. Um, I've got mine from Target. I'm gonna finish wiping down the counters. I used my Guardsman granite and stone cleaner. It's my favorite. I mention it all the time. I got it from Target, but I think they sell it everywhere. And then just one of my microfiber cloths I got from Marshalls and I'm wiping down all the countertops. Everything wipes off very easily, but whatever doesn't come off, I'm using one of my plastic scrapers here. Um, I got this from Amazon and it is in my Amazon favorites. It comes with a ton of replacements. It is child friendly, so definitely recommend it and you can use it on so many things. So I'm going to scrub down my sink now with the cleaner that was set on here for a little bit, but I wanted to take a moment and talk to you guys a little bit about some really real stuff, mental health right now with us being stuck in the house. I just want to check in on everybody and make sure that you guys are doing okay. I also want to make sure you are checking in with yourself. This is not an easy time and some of us um, might be going through some financial difficulties or 
Um, maybe your spouse is not home with you because his or her job is essential. Whatever the case may be, I just want you to check in with me or check in with yourself or a family member or a friend because it is so, so important. I feel like we are overlooking some really detrimental mental health issues that could arise with us being so isolated. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to um, be vocal about what you need right now and know that I am here for you and I'm thinking about you and you are not alone. I always say that, but I really do mean it. And you can find me on Instagram. Um, I am always thinking about you guys and I'm eternally grateful for you. So if you need someone to talk to, please just reach out. I'm here for you. I love you. And it is okay to say, Hey, this time is really, really hard. So I just wanted to let you guys know and just give you some encouragement that you're not alone. This is not easy. And whatever you're going through, you don't have to do it alone. So, um, I am here for you. Here is the wedding picture for Chris and myself, and I'm going to be finding a place in my bedroom to put this, so stay tuned till the end because you will be seeing me decorate my bedroom a little bit as well. More rooms are starting to come together since the renovation is pretty much done. We have some things on our checklist to take care of, like paint the bottom cabinets, put the toe kick in, finish painting baseboards, you know, the punch list. But it is definitely coming together and I'm able to finally decorate some of these spaces and which makes me so happy because you guys know if you've been here for a while, decorating and DIYs make me so, so happy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm obsessed with cleaning, but to see a space come together makes my heart so happy. This mirror has been in the garage for so long and I'm going to vacuum all of the sawdust off of it. Our carpenter actually was cutting some of the um, wood for the cabinets in the garage. Don't ask me why and sawdust went everywhere, but I'm happy to get this back up. I purchased this as a gift to myself last birthday and I love it. And then I'm taking this glass jar here. It's got a little bit of an aqua tint to it. I got it from Home Goods, I think for $12. And I'm going to take these long stem magnolias that I purchased from Hobby Lobby quite some time ago when I actually did this room. If y'all have been here for a while, y'all remember when I completely made over this, what used to be called the front room. Um, which was also the kids playroom, but I'm able to pull these back out, which makes me thrilled because I love my magnolias and I love long stem ones. So I'm putting all of this together, but I have to wipe it all off um, because it is also covered with salt dust. So I feel like this, I could have add, uh, I could have asked for them to do it white, for like really white. I love it, but I think I'm gonna do it just a little bit whiter with some chalk paint. I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. I keep missing the fights, even though that's over through. We had a fire, now we're watching it burn. I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate 
We have a very small laundry room, so I've got to sit my behind down and sort these clothes. I'm also going to show you a creative way to store some of your cleaning products, and I'm going to go ahead and warn you, you may hear me scream, so be prepared. When you hear that, don't be alarmed. I purchased these dispensers, beverage dispensers from Walmart. I think they were five or six dollars each. I used them for my detergent and my softener, but it just didn't work well. So I'm gonna put my bleach in one and my floor cleaner in the other. Isn't it time we go our separate ways? Not enough time, not enough time. I'm falling behind, falling behind. I hate to separate my body and mind. Moving into my bedroom after I cleaned up that mess and yes, my laundry room was smelling really, really good. Um, I went ahead and cleaned the floor while I was at it. I'm going to put the duvet back on my bed. This is one of one of many tasks I despise. I don't like it. I love the feel of the duvet and I love everything about it except putting it back on my bed. It is a giant pain in the butt. I have seen a way to do it and honestly I was being too lazy. I didn't want to grab my phone to find the little trick that I saw because let me tell you if I grab my phone that is it. I am done. I will go onto Instagram to find the saved little post and I will be there for 30 minutes wasting time scrolling endlessly and let's just be honest it is so bad. It's so bad, you guys. So I keep my phone far away from me when I am trying to get things done. So there was no cool little duvet hack today. I will try to add that in my next video though. This little wall thing decor, I got this from Home Goods probably three years ago, and it used to be in our dining room um, where the banquette seating was. I have been trying to find a place in the house to put it. This wall is kind of awkward, and I don't really know what to do with it. We had our wedding picture here, the one I showed you earlier, but it was so small for the wall, so I wanted to hang this square piece and then the picture on top of it kind of giving it a layered look but I did not show it in the um, 
clip it did not look good at all so I will have to put that on another wall I was thinking maybe a wreath but I don't want to go to farmhouse it's not really too much of my vibe I mean I like a little farmhouse but if you have some suggestions of what would look good on that decor piece please let me know in the comments below again I am not against farmhouse I love farmhouse but sometimes when you see like those wall decor pieces and a wreath on top of it it screams farmhouse and I I don't like a lot of clutter so let me know what a minimalist thing you would do for that spot. We ran out of trash bags, so I was trying to shove everything I possibly could in this one bag and it started to rip. So I'm just gonna make a little pile here to send to the Goodwill and then I'm gonna put away some clothes. Before I am done with my cleaning, I wanna try to tidy up my closet a little bit. I am gonna be doing a deep, deep, deep closet declutter very soon because Chris said to me, we need more hangers. And I said, no, we need to get rid of clothes. I'm not gonna buy more hangers. So he and I both are gonna be doing some serious purging soon. I clean both mine and Chris's vanity areas and I use the same cleaner I use in the kitchen in Windex for the mirrors or any windows. It's my favorite. It's my ride or die and I will always use it. Um, and I'm just going to wipe everything down. I'm also going to wipe down the tub, the kids primarily actually 100% of the time um, take a bath in here it's just easiest for us um, the older kids take a bath in their own bathrooms but our little ones are in here and that way it's like an assembly line we can just boom 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 get them in and get them out um, and then if I'm being super fun and super lazy I will fill it up throw a bath bomb in there and pretend it is an indoor swimming pool these days we are doing whatever we can do to buy time I'm gonna clean this toilet up. It looks nastier than it really is. Um, Florida has the worst hard water ever, um, so it looks pretty gross, but we're not just disgusting. I don't know. But I'm using my Clorox toilet wand. I love this thing. I mean, I was stuck to the old school toilet bowl cleaner wand thingy but i jumped on the bandwagon for this thing and it is a game changer i would highly recommend it and i'm using good old-fashioned clorox wipes to wipe everything down um for me right now with all the craziness um this is not the time this is not the time for anything natural i'm gonna spray it with anything that will kill anything at this point i am trying to have my house free of any germs I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you 
I will say that I do definitely still use all of my essential oils. You guys know I love my Young Living oils. I still diffuse them regularly and I clean with them regularly, but when I'm doing a deep clean, I'm gonna use something a little bit stronger. Um, for me, I like to use the strong stuff um, once a day and then throughout the day I can use my thieves cleaner for the countertops and whatnot does anybody else have a ton of costumes from your boys or your girls I feel like we keep accumulating costumes and let me tell you something robbers and burglars need to be scared because i've got batman spider-man um thor captain america and iron man I'm not sure if i mentioned him living in my house right now so y'all i don't need i don't need firearms i've got superheroes all day long can we just take a moment to admire that fireplace it is on it's got three settings it has got this multiple orange and blue color for any of you gator fans out there my husband is a huge gator fan and he loves this setting of course and then it's got blue and orange it does um put some heat out but we do not turn that section on i meant to buy one that has no heat but i guess how i was just so excited i just pressed buy now and didn't realize so because of the uh, proximity it is to the entertainment center i cannot have heat on with it but that is okay because i didn't want the heat i just wanted it to be look pretty So time for wardrobe change. I put on my jammies, washed off my makeup and decided I was done with the cleaning video, but I was like, no. <laughs> I see little pieces of chewed up bark from Hazel um, being outside in the mulch. So I decided to go ahead and clean this up real quick. And then of course that just fed into the rest of the house. So I'm gonna go through the rest of the house with my Dyson here. Um, I use this on a regular daily basis. And then if I want a deep clean, I will go to the water vacuum, which I love as well. This runner is always moving all over the place and in uh, the last kitchen or before we renovated I had tile floors so I would just hot glue my rugs down it was no big deal but now that will not work on this vinyl flooring so do you guys have any recommendations on um, your carpet or rugs for them not to move. I did have some command strips down, the Velcro ones, but Hazel thought it was her personal um, little activity center, and so she spent a good portion of her time ripping them all up. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions for your runner and rugs not to slide all over your floor. Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching today's video. Will you leave a heart emoji in the comments below and let me know that you guys are still here. It means the world to me. Um, being here is such a pleasure and having you guys here for all your support and your love just means so much to me. 
Um, I or we just reached 40,000 subscribers and I literally cried and I just want to stop and take a moment and just say thank you to each and every one of you. Um, if you guys are watching and you haven't yet subscribed, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button before you go any further. Please, please, please check out Brittany's channel. I love her. You will too. She is a light in this world and she makes me want to be better. So please go check her out. Let her know that Lynn sent you. And for all of you here today, I appreciate you and I love you and I hope you all are well. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another extreme deep cleaning clean with me. In today's video, I am gonna be tackling some of the areas in my house that have been neglected. Not only are you gonna get a ton of super satisfying decluttering and organizing, I am also gonna be tackling anything that has been left behind. Today's video took place over about three days and you are gonna see so much get done. I know you are gonna get some extreme cleaning motivation today. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe before we go any further. So I'm gonna get started in my room. I am pulling off my comforter. This is a new duvet that I have recently purchased and I will try to find the link for you guys. If you follow me over on Instagram, I will try to have a link there as well. If you don't see it today, I will get it to you as soon as possible, but I purchased it from Bed Bath & Beyond and it is a duvet, but I do not have my down insert in there because honestly it is too hot. The duvet is already pretty thick, so having the um, down insert would have just been overkill. I'm gonna throw my sheets in the wash and then I'm gonna proceed with cleaning the rest of my room. Today we are gonna be doing a deep clean of my bedroom because it is so dusty and there's hair everywhere. At the first part of this video, you're gonna see me tackle my bedroom and then I'll be doing a deep clean at the kitchen and the rest of the house. Like I mentioned earlier, this video took about three days to do, partly because we were busy or I wasn't feeling too well. So you're gonna get a ton of cleaning motivation. I know you guys are gonna be so motivated. usually wipe everything down with a wet cloth or I'll vacuum it like I showed you previously. Um, I always like to do that because I don't want to get too much dust in the air because that is when my allergies go crazy. I am an allergy and asthma sufferer so it is really important to kind of take those extra steps so I'm not putting so much dust back in the air. So if you guys have been here a while with me, you know I have used so many vacuums and the total drama with the vacuums. I had the Dyson and it wasn't lasting very long and then we had a water vacuum sent to us, which I love. It's the Quantum. If you see any of my older videos, you'll see me using this water filtration vacuum and I love it, but I don't like having to always clean it out so thoroughly after I use it and you have to clean it out thoroughly or it gets really stinky. So um, if I am doing, like I'm not cleaning all day, I'm just trying to get in here and do what I have to do because I knew I wouldn't have the energy to like do hours upon hours. This actual cleaning in my bedroom took me about an hour and a half, but 
moving on. I knew I wasn't gonna be cleaning anything else in the house on this particular day, so I pulled out the Shark and I love it. I love it more than the handheld because it doesn't die on me. My Dyson handheld works for about three to five minutes on max, if that, and that's no exaggeration. So this is perfect and it does a great job getting under the bed and the dressers. I mean, it lies completely flat. So that's really amazing and the suction is incredible. So highly recommend. I will probably be purchasing Shark products in the future because it is so awesome. You can see how much dog hair and dust it gets up and that was just our room. So that's pretty shocking. Hazel has been shedding, which is such a bummer because I don't do well with shedding dogs, but I'm obsessed with her and I love her and that'll never change, but I wish I would have known what I was getting into, but that's okay. She's here and we love her for life. <laughs> So I purchased this nail polish organizer and basically it's like a nail kit from Amazon. You can check out my Amazon favorites if that's something you're interested in. I will definitely put that in there, but I love it because I was holding all of my fingernail polishes in this little, you know, 98 cent bin, Sterlite bin, and it was great, but it started cracking on the bottom. So I wanted to get this and I also wanted it to be more of like vertical height so I could put more in the top of our linen closet. I love it. I think it's so clever and I would highly recommend it. You guys give me a thumbs up if you love to see everything perfectly organized like I do. Oh, it's one of my favorite things. Whether you like it, like it or not, there is a moment meant for us. So we're gonna play a little game of would you rather. So I'm curious, would you rather have your nails done all the time and not your toes or have your toes done all the time and not your nails? Leave in the comment below what you would rather. I'm gonna continue organizing the rest of my items here. I have a ton of bits for my nail drill that I love. It's very, you know, it's not professional, but it gets the job done. So I'm gonna take care of all of this and then put these little plastic things in here to soak off any gel polish or dip powder. It fits in these little containers as well. I'm going to start wiping down my countertops. I'm actually using the tub and tile cleaner from Method. I love it and I like the way it smells. So I use this on the countertops as well. The sheets are done. Yay. And I'm going to start making my bed. So when I was editing this video, I noticed that my camera was so out of focus. It is one of my biggest hassles with my camera, but you know, you do what you gotta do. So I wanna apologize. If you notice it's a little bit blurry, it does get sharper very soon, but I just wanted to throw that out there. I can't, I just, I can't have it in my video without there being an explanation. I also want to tell you that 
If you haven't seen my other previous video where I talked about my sheets, they are the Threshold brand. I really like them. I like that they have elastic, elastic around um, the side where you put in the mattress. It's very deep, but, 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 I really think you need to use fabric softener because I feel like they're a little stiff. Too bad I hate advice. I was not messing around. This is a bedroom deep, deep, extreme clean. So I hope you guys are, an enjoy, are enjoying it. And if you are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and joined our YouTube family. We have so much coming up as well as a new baby. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Ah, I'm five weeks today and it just oh, makes my heart feel so happy. But while laying in the bed and not feeling too hot, I noticed that I had dust all over these walls, so I'm tackling that now. You guys, this is just my walls. Look at that. I did both sides. These were brand new. My walls, especially around the TV. Whoa. using this pumice stone this is my favorite thing to use to get anything off of grout tile ceramic as you see I purchased it from Walmart for I think four or five dollars it's got a little handle on it and this is the best thing for hard water stains as well if you don't want to use a ton of chemicals which I don't find chemicals work for hard water stains inside the toilet bowl so this is definitely something to get I decided to clean it with the toilet wand and Clorox wipes, but this is what it looks like. I mean, it isn't great. By no means is it great. Florida has some of the hardest water I have ever experienced. So you can see obviously where I got it. It's much, much cleaner, but this is as good as it's gonna get. I have recently switched to the Newman's own or whatever it's called organic coffee and I love it. We were doing Javalia. My favorite is community, but the rest of my family don't does not like it. But the Newman's, it is so, so good. You guys have got to try it. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite coffee? If I had to choose any, any and every day, it's going to be the Bernie's santa's white christmas let me know right now give me a thumbs up do you know bernie's white christmas it is so good i can have it all year round it is by far my favorite it is just oh my gosh oh my gosh you can tell i love me some coffee however with the pregnancy and with all of my pregnancies i have an aversion to coffee i think that's how you say it i don't like the smell of it i can drink it but only a little bit. I feel like it makes me super jittery. It makes me feel like dizzy. Is that normal? Let me know. Like what were your food aversions when you were pregnant? I'm wanting all the spicy. I want a little sweet, but mostly like spicy and sour. I, I could, okay. I'm just going to say it. I drank pickle juice. I did. I did. I did. My mom made homemade pickles and they were a little bit spicy and I drank that juice. It was so good, but that's not pregnancy. I just love pickle juice anyway, but I'm really craving spicy stuff. So I would love to know, what did you guys crave?
Let me know. Do you guys see I got a new dishwasher? It is not wobbly. It's not pouring out water on the bottom. It is adulting to the max. I got it for about $300 at Home Depot. It's a Samsung. It does not have all the bells and whistle, but it is stainless. The uh, controls are on the top, which is really cool. It's quiet and it works. That's all I care about you guys is it works. So I was telling Chris that we should do a hot husband clean with me. Let me know in the comments. You think we should do that? I do. I mean, I love watching him clean. So I will totally do a hot husband clean with me if that's something y'all want to see. And let me know who else I should ask to do it. Like, tell me some other hot husbands and maybe we can do like a big mass like hot husband collab. How fun would that be? I mean, eye candy all day. Okay, all right. Of course, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm only gonna be watching my my husband. He's all the eye candy I need or want, but how fun. I think these, I think some ladies would enjoy that. So in last week's video, I talked about doing laundry stripping. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to link it above in the cards. Go check out that video. It was a ton of cleaning motivation. And I talked about how to strip laundry, not the details, but just kind of what it would do. And so you can go over there, but I am definitely going to have that in my next video next Monday. So make sure you're subscribed. Your notification is on. We're going to have a video about laundry stripping and that's going to give you the details on exactly how to do it effectively and exactly what it does. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, go head over to that other video. It's great motivation anyway. And so check that out. So I don't always tell you guys every single product I use just basically because I feel like you can see the video and you know, but I will just say real quick, I use the Dawn Power Wash in the microwave on top of the cooktop and I used it for the turntable. It's my favorite. I have the apple scent and oh my gosh, I love it. I highly, highly recommend it. It works for everything. So with putting the house on the market, which yes, we are going to be putting the house on the market as soon as possible. I wanted to finish this front room. I still have to pull all the nails out of the wall um, where I used to have the pallet board and I need to paint it and do something there. But I also wanted to make this room look more cohesive. So I'm going to be rearranging it so you'll get a nice little before and after.
This was the little Ikea bookshelf that we got for the boys that was in their room. If you haven't seen the boys' room completely transformed, I'm going to link that above. You guys, that was such a huge transformation. Their room turned out so, so good. I love doing room makeovers. Give me a thumbs up if you guys love room makeovers, but that room turned out incredible. So I want y'all to check that out. But we pulled this out of there and I'm using it for in the middle of these bookshelves. It doesn't fit perfectly, but I prefer the desk like this, so it's gonna work for now. I'm gonna continue to dust and wipe down this desk here. I still need to get some um, electronic wipes, some ones that are specific for that, or get an e-cloth that's specific for that. Let me know what you guys use. I've asked you before, but I honestly can't remember. So I'm gonna continue to wipe everything down the best I can, and then we will be moving on to the next room. I know this video has just given you guys so much motivation, and I love, love, love doing videos like this for you guys, just a little bit of everything. So let me know if you guys like these videos as well. and. Like always, if you haven't yet considered subscribing, go ahead and do that now before we go any further. I will always be posting videos like this every single week. So I would love to have you join my YouTube family. And if for any reason you're like, no, nope, don't want to subscribe, let me know why. Because I'm always curious. I can take it. Let me know. And honestly, it's not even like, I know I don't, I don't think I've ever even heard any other YouTubers say that. But I'm curious because... You know, I, I want to know how I can do better. So seriously, I don't mind. Just let me know because I want to make the best videos that I can for you. So it's okay to be honest in love and just let me know what's up. Moving into the boys room, I'm going to clean their windows. I've been trying to stay on top of this because the last time I cleaned the window and the blinds, it had been, oh my gosh, I would embarrass myself if I told you how long, but it was so caked on, I knew that I needed to tackle this at least once a week. So I'm gonna wipe everything down. I'm also gonna be cleaning their sheets and putting new sheets on. So there will be some time lapse where I'm doing other projects and then I will be coming back into here. The boys are so, so excited for the possibility of having a game room. That is one of my biggest things on my list when we move. I don't really even care about the size of the house. We just need a playroom, a game room for them as they get older and have somewhere where they congregate. Right now it's in the living room and I have nowhere to go. And I feel like 
they need a space for them. So Lord willing, I pray that we can find something that is perfect for our family. Like I said, we already got started. I'll be sharing our house hunting adventure on our family blog. So make sure you are subscribed there. I'll have that link in my description box. I will be sharing tomorrow, Tuesday, the house hunting adventure that we had and you'll be able to see some of the houses we looked for, but I'm really exciting, but it, it's a, it's a really competitive market. And when you don't have a million dollars, it's not very easy. So this is going to be quite a challenge because I'm just a real person trying to buy a normal home. And that's not always the easiest thing, but either way, I'm going to be taking you guys along on this journey. Can't help myself. You know to So I wanted to say real quick, I've had um, other questions like, are you using the same cloth throughout the same throughout the house? And no, I change my cloths um, depending on what I am doing. If I'm cleaning my kitchen and I'm just cleaning the countertops, then and I'm using some sort of cleaner, I will probably use that for the bathroom. But if I'm wiping down like floors or something else like that, no, I'm not going to use that same cloth it might look like i do because i have 10 of the same exact color cloths it's the microfiber cloths that i purchased from marshall's quite a bit of time ago i'm sure you can get them online but i'm obsessed with them because hey they're my favorite color and i like that i just throw them in the wash and you're good to go so a lot of times you'll see me with the same like the same looking cloth but it is not the same cloth i just wanted to preface So our friend and realtor is coming over tomorrow. So this is the perfect time to wipe down all of these door frames and doors. They look so nasty, they're so dirty. And we will also be giving all of the uh, board and badden a good wipe down. The sheets are all done and I'm gonna start putting this on the kids' bed because it is a bedtime for them. We are gonna work really hard to shorten their bedtime. We usually do, Chris will do a book or a song, rub their backs and then go. I will usually rub their backs and lay with them for a while, but it is so drawn out. Some nights we're in there for 45 minutes. So we told them last night, we're not doing that anymore. Mommy and daddy are gonna both come in there, either read a book or rub their back during prayers and then that is it they have got to learn to put themselves to sleep on their own do you guys have long drawn out bedtimes for your kids if you do let me know in the comments below let me know what your bedtime routine is actually because i'm really curious because i feel like ours is a little much um the older kids just put themselves their selves to bed but it's uh, noah who's six and josiah who's eight and i love that time with them but I feel like they're relying on it too much. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Blah, 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 blah. 
it is so amazing what a magic eraser and a wet washcloth can do. The entire hallway felt so much brighter. Everything is feeling so good and so clean and you don't realize how filthy you are until you start wiping down some baseboards and door frames, y'all. We were nasty. We're moving on into this area right here. I am gonna fill out their little chores and everything they need to do. You can use this for two kids. I use it for four, as you can see, and it works just fine. But I'm gonna put everything that they need to do on a daily basis and then they'll get to mark it off. We try to have a little treat for them at the end of the week if they do it all week long. And then we told them if they want allowance, they need to make this consistent. And then we will start giving them a little bit of something that they can save. Okay, you guys, I hope today's video gave you a ton of cleaning motivation. We did deep cleaning, decluttering, and all the things in between. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I've said this before, but I do not and will not ever take that for granted. I hope I've earned your trust to be able to bring you guys consistent cleaning motivation every single week or decor whatever is that you're looking for on my channel. I hope that is what I can provide. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. We have so much to share and I would love to share it with you. Yes, you, the one that's listening to this. I would love for you to join our family. So thank you all so, so much. I love you more than you'll ever know. And I cannot wait to see you in next week's video. Bye guys. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today we are gonna be doing a all day clean with me and we are gonna be disinfecting as well. With everything going on, I'm gonna be adding some extra steps to my cleaning process, which let's just be honest, shouldn't we have always been doing this? Yes, I think so. So I'm gonna add some of that into today's cleaning video. Each room, I'm gonna show you how I disinfect. Super easy, super quick, and effectively. And I am going to start today's cleaning in the kitchen. As you see, cleaning up what I made for dinner. Yes, it was a mess, but that is the purpose of this video because you guys want cleaning motivation and I've got it. On this particular evening, I made meatballs that was kind of like chopped steak. So usually I make little patties with mushrooms and oven and onions, and it is so, so good. But what I did is I made a whole bunch of meatballs, and then I took the drippings from those and separated some in a container and put some spaghetti sauce on it and some in my mushrooms and onions, had over mashed potatoes with gravy, and it was so delicious. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that recipe, and it was so good you guys oh my gosh but if you want an in-depth detailed recipe let me know and I can add it in one of my upcoming videos
You guys always know whenever I am doing the dishes, Ruby is right there behind me. Whenever I open the dishwasher and they know it is time, they think they are getting a treat and now Hazel does the same thing. She's so tiny so you don't see her, but it's so cute that both of them are just sitting there waiting for me <laughs> to load the dishwasher so hopefully they can find something to eat. So if you see that little hand, wash your hand sign there, I got that from Target. It is from the Magnolia line. I had been wanting it for a very long time. It was one of those frivolous purchases that I've wanted and I just haven't gotten because I could not justify it. But with everything going on, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this. And I thought it was so cute. So I've set it here in the kitchen and then you'll see in another day, in another part of this video, I will put it in the bathroom, but I ended up mounting it on the wall next to the sink in the kids bathroom and it's so cute super easy to put up there and very light it is like a metal but it's very light and i love it i just think it's so cute I don't usually put my pots and pans in the dishwasher, so I usually would hand wash those and then dry them out and put them away right away. I feel like it takes too much space in our dishwasher and it just, it doesn't work. We have so many people, we need all the space we can get. I really wish that they had like larger dishwashers, but when we do get one, I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I'm hoping to get one with an, one of those like utensil racks. Ah, you definitely know you're adulting when you're excited about appliances, but I really am. I've got my Clorox wipes handy. I bought a big pack of these a long time ago and I just keep them on hand whenever I'm cleaning the house. And then I'm gonna take my bottle here, add a little bit of bleach, good old fashioned bleach. It cannot be scented, it cannot be splashless. It has to just be regular bleach and it has to say disinfectant. Just don't know if you guys realize that. You can't just use any old bleach. And I'm gonna mix it with some water and this is the best disinfectant. So I'm gonna spray the sink, I'm gonna spray the handles as you will see and then obviously in the video you won't see me go walk away for a while but I let that sit on there for at least a minute and then I will come back and wipe it up you need to know that when you are disinfecting you have to let it sit on there for just a second to actually do its job I know there's a shortage of disinfectant but you guys bleach alcohol hydrogen peroxide they all work wonders I did not like that spray bottle, it wasn't working, so I ended up transferring it into my glass bottle. I love these, I love the cobalt blue. I got these from Amazon and I do have them in my Amazon favorites if that's something you're looking for. If you are using chemicals um, and actually a especially essential oils, you need to be using glass bottles. I have still been using my essential oils. I love my thieves, I really do. I love the smell of it and I'm, I feel comfortable using it around my house, but I have been doing a once a day disinfectant like this, disinfectant infecting or sanitizing like this in the evenings or whenever I have it on my mind. And then throughout the day, I'm using my thieves cleaner. When wiping up any of the 
bleach solution, you need to make sure you're using a rag that you do not care that gets stained and bleached out. That is what I'm doing. And then I just throw it in the wash with our towels and it's good to go. But you need to be careful not to mix this with any of your dark colors. On to the boys' room. I just posted a small bedroom transformation. That was last Tuesday, and I showed you what the kids' room looked like, and then all fixed up. But this is real life, totally like realistic right here. It was so clean, and it got messy immediately. So I'm gonna come in here and clean this up. You guys know I do not like to send my kids to bed in a messy room. I feel like they do not sleep as well. So I'll come in here and tidy this up. Also with them being home every single day, it definitely gets messier, but I have been making them clean it in the morning. But if it gets closer to the evening and they're taking their baths and it's just like I'm ready for them to go to bed because I have never in my life loved somebody so much as I do my children. But wow, I am ready for 7.30, you guys. You guys know I love organization under the bed because we don't have any room in here for dressers or a um, play bin or anything so we have all their toys in the cube system in the front room well actually it's the dining room now and that's where they are but I had to utilize some of the space because we don't have a separate playroom anymore so Here are the bins that I will usually fill up with their toys, mostly their Legos, because they are so hard to organize. I have done so many creative ways of organizing Legos, but it just doesn't work. I'm going to use one of my Clorox wipes that I showed you earlier, and I'm gonna wipe down their bed frames and anything that I think could be hiding any sneaky little germs. Um, I have had them for a week, have them home for a week now, and I have been doing this very, very frequently, and I feel much more comfortable knowing that these little areas are getting sanitized. It's a perfect sky now, and looks so great cold. We've been playing his and for a.m. and you haven't said a word to me. Those little blue bins are from Target. The white one is from the Dollar Tree. I like the blue ones. I've had them for a really long time, but it slides nicely under the bed and you can also stack them by folding the yellow handles in. They also have some in more girly colors if that's what you're interested in, but I love them. They've lasted a really long time. Say it's over, if it's over, do you Okay, you guys, it is several days later. I actually have been sick and I have had a really hard time getting moving. But when I was filming the part when I was cleaning the boys' room, I was trying to get good angles of me vacuuming. And when I was pulling the camera off of the bed because I had it propped up, my the boys' fan hit the camera and just killed it. So I had to wait days for me to get a new camera and like I said I wasn't feeling well so very sadly I didn't even get the footage of me vacuuming in there which was a bummer because I worked really hard on it and broke my camera over it so I'm in my office it's a disaster the kids have been congregating in here a lot and you can see it is bad so they have been home for quite some time I think it's seven days at this point when I am filming this part and I'm gonna go through their backpacks. I did not wanna touch their backpacks immediately. I know that this virus and other viruses, I don't live very long, 
Um, it doesn't live longer than a week on these types of surfaces. So I just left everything. They put it down and said, don't touch it. I'll get to it. And like I said, I wasn't feeling too hot anyway, but I'm going to go through each one of the backpacks, get all of their stuff out and prepare to wash each one and their lunch boxes. We've been laying hisses for a Silent treatment is this what it feels like? I am also going to go through these, these bins here. I got these from Home Goods quite a while ago, and I'm going to go through all the shoes. I let the boys keep their shoes in here because we have limited closet space. So it's time to go through and get rid of any of the ones that no longer fit, and I will be no donating those. I will be stacking all of the boys books they got sent home with everything and then I will eventually be wiping those down but for now I'm gonna take these backpacks put them in the washing machine and I'm gonna put it on the sanitary cycle and here we are the next day once again I told you I have had a lot of trouble getting moving. I have not really moved my body a lot, and I can tell because I'm definitely starting to put on some weight again. Um, so I've got to just keep pushing through. I'm gonna start riding my spin bike for 30 minutes every day, not every other day, not every two days, every day. I've gotta get this last five to seven pounds off of me, just mainly because I don't feel comfortable in my own skin. So definitely gotta do that. So I've been putting on my workout clothes and if I put on my workout clothes y'all I make a promise to myself to get moving and if that's working outside um, doing exercises I did a ton of squats and a ton of lunges and leg lifts and things like that the other day and oh my gosh my legs were so sore but I've got to do cardio every day I feel like the older I get I can't just get by anymore I used to just be able to do whatever I want eat whatever I want and just be fine but as I got have gotten older and I put on all of that weight from the steroids been on prednisone for two years it has been quite a challenge to get this weight off thankfully I'm off the prednisone yay that was such a force to be reckoned with if you guys have ever been on steroids for a long amount of time you know what I'm talking about so now I've just got to get the remainder of this weight off of me If you guys are enjoying today's video, I would love it and it would mean so much to me if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. You guys mean so much to me, you know that, and I would love to have you. I am really looking forward to redoing this entire office. I'm going to clean these shelves off. I'm going to redecorate everything. I've got some wallpaper or that peel and stick wallpaper coming. I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm going to do the whole back wall behind me that used to have the pallet board on there. It's going to be so exciting. I'm going to turn the desk around. It is going to be like a real 
office and I'm so ready for it. So today I just clean it really well and disinfect everything, but I'm not gonna rearrange things yet. I'm gonna have a whole dedicated video on that very soon, but I'm waiting for the wallpaper to come in. The printer has not been working. It keeps getting jammed and I'm over it. I wanted a wireless printer anyway, so I figured this is the time. So I purchased a white wireless printer and I'm thinking I'm gonna build some shelves in between those uh, those existing shelves. I'm gonna build something in the middle, but I won't give too many of my little details away. I'm just so ready. I've got so many ideas. I did not like the contact paper on this little dollar store trash bin, whatever it is. So I'm gonna rip this off. It's something I've been looking at for a long time and I'm just gonna take the opportunity to do it now. And then I'm gonna use the backside, the sticky side to get all of the dust out of here. There was so much dust and cat hair and ugh. I mean, it really was neglected in here for quite some time. I'm gonna wipe everything down in here because the kids touched in here a lot. And with me being sick, I wiped everything down. I wanted to make sure I touched every surface and cleaned it. I do not know what I had. I did call like the teledoctor or I called my primary um, or my ENT and then they told me to call my primary. Basically, nobody wants to see you right now and I completely understand. So I had to end up calling a teledoctor um, to prescribe me a an antibiotic for the sinus infection that developed. I don't know what I have, but I have been staying in the house, so that's good. Um, it started with a sore throat, and it just, it felt strange to me, honestly, and then I had this burning feeling in my throat and then in my chest. Whenever I get sick, my chest always gets super tight because I have asthma, so I don't know, but I made sure to get my albuterol and my Simpacort filled so that's a blessing because I have that and I'm prepared. Um, I did have a fever. It was not a high fever, but I had a fever um, for days, days and days and days and days and a headache that I just could not get rid of um, that I treated with Tylenol. Coincidentally, I treated it with Tylenol. Um, now they're coming out with studies that ibuprofen, Advil, and any NSAID type of anti-inflammatory pain reliever is actually um, exacerbating symptoms of that virus. So know that if you think you may have it, please treat your symptoms with Tylenol, not an NSAID. And um, asthmatics were reaching for the steroids, the prednisone, they're saying, they're saying that was not a good idea too. The doctor that I called um, and told her all my symptoms and I told her I need a prednisone to open up my chest. She's like, no, I cannot. There are studies and it shows that steroids are making it much worse. So you can do your corticosteroids, those are your inhalants, your Simbicort, your albuterols, those are A-OK, -okay. but steroids such as prednisone and any other oral steroid that, you know, does the whole body is not OK and no incest. So a little tip if you think you are sick. I love these containers. I got them from Target. I was gonna say Home Goods, but no, I got these from Target, and it is the OXO brand, and they are my favorite cereal containers. I have used all of the other ones, and these are 
amazing, worth the money. Time to tackle the hall bathroom, the guest bathroom, and y'all, it was nasty. I have already sprayed the um, bleach solution that I had made on this day all over the toilet, the floor, the walls, and everything. So that has been sitting in there for about 10 minutes, honestly, because it was really, really, really bad. Um, just FYI, when you make your little Clorox solution, it is only good for 24 hours. So it only can disinfect for 24 hours and you can look online and get that information. I used to work in the daycare system, I guess you would call it. I was a daycare teacher for a very, very, very long time. And so I had to do all kinds of classes and get my hours. And I have learned about what cleans and doesn't clean and how long it is effective. So. I will take this opportunity to replace the kids' toothbrushes. They went and spent the night at their grandparents' house, so there were multiple toothbrushes out. So I'm going to go through those and take care of whatever needs to be taken care of and get rid of whatever is all frayed out. I think toothbrushes are only good for three months. I think that's what I've heard, so I like to try to replace those regularly. I'm using that same bleach solution that I had made and gonna wipe everything down. I let this sit on here for about a minute as well. I don't film that part because you would just literally see me standing there or doing something else. So when you see me spraying, there is always a time in between where I have to let it sit and work. I wanna recommend to you guys that you read the instructions on whatever cleaner you're, you are using. It is really important that you're following the instructions that they provide. The same wash your hands sign is back. I've moved it into the bathroom. And then actually after I left in here, I went and installed it and put it on the, um, under the little mirror there. And it looks super cute. Sorry, I didn't get a picture, but I'm sure you will see it in one of my next videos. I'm gonna take a wipe and wipe everything down that I have to, including this nasty toilet that bleach has been sitting on, well, a bleach solution has been sitting on for quite some time. So I know some of you are like, why don't you use gloves? Honestly, I don't have any right now. The ones that I got, they're too tight on my hands. The pink ones that I used to use are all powdery and I can't stand powder. So I need to get some new gloves that is on my list of to-dos. Do you guys see those absolutely adorable little shoes I'm wearing? They're from Walmart and you guys know Aqua is my favorite color. I had to have them, they're super comfortable and they were only $7. They had black, gray, red, white, and Aqua. So, so cute. I love them and I thought, they're, thought they were just perfect house shoes. And I will probably be wearing them a lot this summer as well. I really think 
a mom or somebody should make like a splash guard for the toilet when you have boys. Just an entire little splash guard so everything gets back into the toilet. I don't understand if they aren't watching what they're doing. Are they having conversations? Are they staring at the ceiling? I really don't know, but it baffles me every time I clean this bathroom. Onto my bathroom, I'm going to tidy up everything, but first I'm gonna take the rugs and get those ready to wash. I have been doing so much laundry. My goal, like I always say, is one a day. Let me tell you guys something. One of my biggest hindrances, I guess you would say, is myself. I am not the greatest at following through. I have a ton of ideas, a lot of great thoughts, but my follow through needs work. Do you guys struggle with that at all? Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys struggle with it? Are you always, like if you write something down, you get it done? Are you really diligent about being disciplined? I am working on it. I mean, I'm just human and I'm flawed and I am trying so hard to follow through with the things that not only make me happy, but I have to do, like I have to do laundry. And when I don't, it always piles up and it always overwhelms me. And it's not to say that my husband or a kid isn't gonna do it, but I need to stay on top of it. So my goal has been just move your body and get things done. If you wanna write it down, you know I love to write things down because more importantly, I love to cross things off. It brings me so much satisfaction but I have been trying so hard to be more disciplined and doing a load a day, cleaning the house consistently. Like I clean all the time. I'm always picking up, I'm always cleaning, but like really having some sort of like more concrete routine. And I've got a good routine, but I wanna like step it up a level. I just, I don't wanna get behind. I feel like I'm always behind. I feel like I'm always behind the ball and I don't wanna feel like that anymore. Now I'm giving myself some grace cause I was really feeling sick, but I am really trying to just keep pushing through and do the things that make me proud and to make my family proud. So I'm not overwhelmed. So I flushed the toilet so you guys would know that that was not pee in there. That's just, it's discolored. In Florida, we have terribly hard, hard water and it just is horrible for these toilets. So I'm cleaning this with one of my little Clorox toilet wands. Love this thing. I will never go back to the other little thing I was using. I actually threw my kids away. I'm gonna get them one. I love it. It is so easy to do and it cleans the toilet so well. I'm going to get the shower floor wet and I'm gonna spray some Tylex in here because I'm seeing some water, mildew, and um, soap scum. So I'm gonna spray that and then I'm gonna use my little Dollar Tree handle here and just scrub it really, really, really good and get all in the crevices of this hexagon tile. I love this tile, but it is not the funnest to clean at all.
I've got my favorite shampoo and conditioner there. That is the function of beauty. And I was able to pick out all the details of what it does for my hair. I even got to pick out the color that it was and the scent. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this stuff. I'm going to finally tackle this mess on my closet floor. This is one area, I mean, well, there are many, let's just be completely transparent and honest here, there are many, but here is another area that I let go all the time. I have really good intentions. I pull clothes down. I'm like, I'm gonna sell this, I'm gonna list this, I'm gonna put this here, I'm gonna put it away in the morning, and I don't. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean off this floor. I would like to see the floor again. I'm gonna load it up with stuff I don't need, and then I am going to be putting some things on my Macari app. Um, I will see if I can get a link for you guys. I have tried to find people on Macari before. It is really tough. Um, on my Instagram, I did show some of the shoes, the Steve Madden wedges that I was trying to get rid of, and I had a link in there. I think it's probably expired by now because those stories only last 24 hours. But um, yeah, I'm gonna fill up my Macari app with some things I'm trying to get rid of because I might as well try to sell these things if I'm gonna be stuck in the house for a month. So I'm gonna put away all of the workout clothes on the bottom. I'm gonna be using these much more, promise you that. I guarantee I am gonna lose seven pounds. I'm going to do it. But I'm gonna put everything away to get to see this floor again and tidy up and make it look good. So I find out that I don't have enough hangers, so that prompts me to get rid of more clothes. So do you guys have a special place that you put your winter clothing? We don't have much winter here, but I've been thinking about putting like my long sleeve things away just so I have more hangers and more space in my closet. Do you guys do that or do you just have everything jam packed in there? It is time to fold like honestly seven loads of laundry um, I'm going to separate everything. This is something that I've been doing lately and I feel like it has helped so, so much. So when we have these big old piles, we'll have the kids just grab whatever is theirs. And if they are busy, then I just separate into their piles and then I take it straight into their room. I will either fold it or they'll fold it in their room. Usually I am helping. Let's just be honest. And then I will have our stuff in our room and it has made laundry go by so much quicker because I'm not having to fold every item of clothing. And it also teaches them to kind of do it on their own. Now we're watching it isn't it time, isn't it time we go our separate ways? Not enough time, not enough time. I'm falling behind, falling behind. I hate to separate my body and mind. While I'm going through all these clothes, I will fold mine and Chris's clothes. I like to do that for him. He does it for me. It's just a little sentiment. Um, he works so hard, so I don't mind folding his clothes. He's happy to do it on his own, but I think it's sweet. And I also want to teach my kids to serve, so I think it's really good. I was kind of on the fence about them doing this on their own, like doing their own laundry, because I was like, well, if I do it, it teaches them to serve, but I am teaching them to serve. I have taught them how to serve, but they need to also learn to start taking care of themselves just a little bit. Is it a time, is it a time we go our separate ways? Not enough time, not enough time. 
I'm falling behind, falling behind. I hate to separate my body and mind. My body and Whenever I have these huge loads and mounds of laundry, it is just hitting at home that I have got to do a load a day. If I even let one day go by without doing laundry, this is what happens. It just takes over. Honestly, I could probably do one to two loads every day just to stay on top of it. So that is what I'm gonna try to do. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's all day whole house, clean with me, cleaning motivation, all the things. Also disinfecting, disinfecting and sanitizing everything. You guys mean so, so much to me. I always tell you that, but I will never stop meaning it. You guys make my day, you make my heart so happy. If you haven't yet already, would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? It would mean so much to me and my family and I would love to have you. I've got a ton of fun videos coming up and I look forward to seeing you, seeing you in the next one. Bye. My sweet friends and welcome back to another motivational cleaning video but today is a little bit different because not only are you going to be getting some extreme cleaning motivation we are going to be deep cleaning and I'm going to show you all the filthy dirt in my carpets you guys it is disgusting and I'm a little embarrassed but you know what I'm here I'm showing up for it. I'm showing you guys the things we're doing refreshing this house for summertime that has come so quickly but not only that I'm also going to be deep cleaning around the doors I'm going to be refreshing the front porch I'm going to be making a beautiful wreath so today's video is going to be packed full of motivation and I am so excited that you're here if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we are going to go ahead and get started Girl, you should wear a name tag So I'm super excited for today's video, not only because it is full of so much motivation, but because also and mainly because it is a collaboration with one of my favorite people ever, and that is Katie Satilli. She started a brand new channel, Strictly Cleaning Motivation, and you guys, you have to go over there and say hello. You've got to subscribe. If you do go over there, will you please let her know that Lynn sent you? Like I had mentioned, this is her new channel, and it would mean the world to me if you just head over. Click that subscribe button, the little notification bell, let her know you're there, and just enjoy all the motivation she provides. We both have cleaning motivation. She has got the best personality. I really feel like she's my long lost sister, and I know you guys are gonna love her too. If you guys are from Katie's channel, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Hit that subscribe button before going any further, and we are gonna finish cleaning this filthy house. I didn't realize the danger, cause you're the end of the rainbow. And the music was so loud, didn't get your name over this crowd. Girl, you should wear a name tag, cause all I wanna do is you know your name. Girl, you should wear a name tag, that's the only way that I get your name. Girl, you should wear a name tag, it's too important to be your name. People go say when you walk by, girl, you should wear a name tag. This is the um, carpet cleaner that we got. It is the Pet Pro from Bissell. I got it from Target and I wanted to have something really good for our carpets. Hazel has had a ton of accidents and then also the kids getting sick. I think I, if you guys remember in the past, I had talked about the room kind of smelling yucky and I honestly thought it was from Noah being sick around Christmas time, but come to find out it was Miss Hazel. So I wanted to have something really good that also had heat to steam the carpet and kill all the bacteria in the carpet because every time I walked in here, no matter how much I cleaned it, it just had a really yucky smell. Um, and I was going to pay for Stanley steamer to come out, but once I got the quote for them, I know how much they are. I use them many, many times in the past. I really 
really like them. But I knew I could go and purchase a carpet cleaner for less than what they would do it for and be able to do it time and time again. So I made the leap. I made an, you know, an investment and I love it. You'll see how much yucky dirt it gets out of this carpet. Just this one carpet, you can already see how nasty it is. I can say it is a day later when I'm doing this voiceover and their room is night and day. The smell is completely gone. The room feels so, so good and the carpet looks brand new. gonna tag team a little bit while he does this carpet I am gonna start cleaning off the entertainment center putting away all the remote controls for the boys game systems and dusting up here as well with so many boys and just kids in general and now animals I do not spend a ton of money on my rugs I try to get them as cheap as possible I mean I think they're really great quality but I will not spend a ton of money anymore because of reasons like this accidents or dirt or whatever the case may be so don't go and spend a ton of money keep searching around for coupons and finding the best deals I would not waste your money on rugs I mean I love to get a new rug I feel like it changes the space completely but you can definitely do that on a budget I always do I will go to East Sale rug Amazon contact the manufacturer for a coupon the sky's the limit. Honestly, you never have to pay full price. And I can say that I rarely ever do. enjoying today's video and you are getting motivated or inspired would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already it would mean so much to me and I would love to have you join my YouTube family to my kitchen I'm gonna refill the dish soap right here nothing fancy just some good old-fashioned Dawn I feel like it works the best honestly I have some gloves sitting right there on the counter and you guys I totally forgot to put them on until I was done and I thought oh my gosh that's just so me I just I, I am so absent-minded sometimes so yeah I got the gloves they came in I love them I've used them not today so, trust me, I've been wearing them, I promise. No, 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 no. Don't care about it, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Don't care in the past, it'd be cool now and now. In the bottom of the bottom, I need to keep on sinking. Let it all, let it all go, let it all, let it all go. In the bottom of the bottom, I just keep on sinking. 
So my daughter has been experimenting with cooking more and I love it because I get to taste it all. But on these dishes here, they get all nasty. So I put the Dawn Power Wash in there and it works so well. You guys have got to try it. I got mine from Target and I think it's the Apple Scent. Amazing, it works so great to get anything that needs to be soaked off. It gets it off so quick. I'm laying down at the compiling. I see you in the wild Cause this time I will choose you so as I'm throwing things away, I wanted to get rid of this tea. As you can see here, I'm trying to drink it as fast as possible. I want to get my Chick-fil-A tea to the last drop. I love it. It is my one of my favorites. Honestly, my favorite is Dunkin' Donuts. I will go to Dunkin' for my tea over coffee any day. I can seem to move this I'm by the byway, waiting for your lead. I don't want to fall in love. <laughs> but it's I can't help. Drink your pain. Anything and everything. <laughs> There's still water in there. It's coming up. Oh, okay. Where's the nastiness? This comes here. Oh, okay. That's Look nasty. Look at this nastiness. Hold on. Look at this nastiness. Hairball? Mmm. Look on the other side. It also has a dry tool, it said. Like for dry floors. I wonder if. <sighs> She's so distracting. Could you took you? Could you? Okay, I'm gonna do the SR real quick. I'll be done. I'll be done. Back to the kitchen for me. So I was getting Noah excited to help me clean, so I decided to pretend like I was a fairy and dance around the kitchen. The things you do for your children. So he wanted to help me today and I really wanted to give him the chance. I knew that he was going to spray this cleaner way too much, but it's worth it. Having him get involved and be excited and do something with me was priceless. So I just didn't care. I mean, I saw him, I kept telling him only two sprays, bud, only two sprays. And he just went to town, but he was really proud of himself. you guys by the next time hopefully the next time I post a video I should have a new dishwasher I'm so excited you see the red towel there that is because it 
pours out water every time it runs. So I'm so, so looking forward to it. And I don't feel guilty about it one bit because the appliances are breaking left and right. I have not just frivolously gone and purchased anything as much as I wanted to with their new kitchen renovation. I wanted to so bad, you guys, so bad. But I did it. We're gonna do it one at a time and it feels really good. So I had a shipped order come in for Costco, so I'm going to start organizing the Cheez-Its because, hey, when life is crazy, organize your pantry, right? I mean, that's one thing you have control over, so that is what I'm doing. So it is later in the day and I'm going to come out on the front porch and start cleaning away all of the Easter type items. I should have done this a long time ago, but this place has been neglected so bad. So I'm going to dust all of the or sweep all of the cobwebs and any of the dirt off of the door, the walls and the ground. And I'm going to get it prepped to get it all looking nice and refreshed. I like to do this every time a season comes and I change things out clean it up really good I was going to pressure wash it but I decided not to do it on this day I'm going to pressure wash the back porch so I'm just going to clean it real good and I cannot wait to show you how everything turns out with the wreath that I'm going to make I think you guys are going to really love it guys, I feel like I need a new wreath. So I bought a couple things from Hobby Lobby and everything that I bought is in stock and you can buy it online if your Hobby Lobby isn't open. But I'm gonna make a beautiful wreath. I rarely make them for myself this time it's really hot. I won't usually make them for myself, but I love make on, making them for other people. But I finally was like, I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna show you guys, sorry for the lighting, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make a super quick and easy, but beautiful and classy wreath. So I've got my magnolias. I've got some really beautiful foliage, bright and green. And then of course, my blue hydrangeas. I have to have blue. And then I've got some eucalyptus. Again, everything is at Hobby Lobby. I bought everything 50% off. Um, so these are really pretty. I am really loving how simple everything is out here. I mentioned this so many times I'm really I just love the simplicity and the minimalist minimalism I don't know I like color and I like cozy but I feel like you can do that without too much stuff so I have my sign here I've had this for probably three years now I got it at Michael's during Easter and I love it then I planted these I don't know what these flowers are called I got them at Home Depot and they're working or they are lasting great these over here are not so great because my kids actually dumped this over so i just took what i found on the ground and shoved it back in there so it's trying to come back to life and then i made sorry for the light you guys i made this 
um, a while back. It's held up beautifully about two years ago. And then in one of my other videos, I stenciled all of this. I will add that in the cards above if you want to know how I did this. Super quick and easy way to just kind of spruce it up. I did this for spring and there was a lot more stuff out here, but since summer's here, we are going to just have it very simple, bright and fresh and just all the summer vibes. It is much later in the evening. The sun has gone down and this is my opportunity to get these doors. You saw that I did the French doors, but it was time to get the front door. I would love to paint this, but it needs to be completely replaced, but I am gonna go ahead and clean it really, really good. As you see, it gets so nasty. So let me know in the comments below how many of you guys have been with me since I did that window decals or the window stickers. I would love to know if you have been there, been here since then. And if you're new, how did you find me? When is the first time you met me? Was it on Instagram? Was I suggested to you here on YouTube? And what made you hit that subscribe button? I just like to know. I love to connect with you guys. I want to continue to make content that you enjoy and look forward to every single week. I love doing anything motivational for you guys. So even if it's cleaning or some sort of DIY or decor, I want to add a little bit of encouragement and motivation all mixed in because when you come to my channel, and I've said this so many times before, when you are at my channel, you are family. No matter what you're going through, you are here, you are welcomed, and you are so, so loved. So always remember that. So even if it's just a cleaning video, I hope that you are left from my video feeling totally encouraged and knowing that you can do anything that you set your mind to because you are so, so amazing. And I am honestly beyond words, so super thankful for you guys, each and every one of you guys that show up for me, that hit that subscribe button, that watch my videos. I just want you to know, I appreciate you more than I'll ever be able to show you. And in a super realistic mom fashion, y'all, it's the next day because I had to go to bed. I was tired. I don't often get a whole entire day to clean because a lot of times I procrastinate if I'm just being honest. And I've got someone needing something all the time. So here it is the next day. The sheets are clean. We had the kids sleep on the couch because, hey, that's a lot of fun when parents let the kids sleep on the couch. And their sheets were wet, but we didn't tell them that part. I had them all dry and ready for this morning. So I'm making their beds. Like I had mentioned earlier, the room smells so, so good. I mean, so good. And the carpet looks brand new. So that makes me very happy. I'm gonna put on the front door to kind of refresh it for summer. I'm just gonna show you the basics. Obviously, you can use anything you like. I love blue, so obviously my stuff's kind of blue. I'm gonna show you really quick how I'm gonna put this together, and this is gonna look gorgeous. First thing that you need to do, have your floral, have a wire cutter. I'm gonna use a grapevine wreath. This is an 18 inch. I got that from Michael's. You can get it from Hobby Lobby. 
and then I've got ribbon blue and then some vintage lace um, both are wired and I'm gonna make a bow so get all your supplies and I have a hot glue gun right here it has got gorilla uh, hot glue in it this is the best stuff um, in Florida things will just melt off but this will keep it on for sure get all of your supplies and then the next thing you do take all your perfection and throw it out the window this is a time to be creative this is a time to not try to make everything perfect. You are just going to go with it. You are going to let your creativity flow. You have your colors that you like. You have your palette here. Throw the perfectionism. Throw all that out the window. It is time to just be creative and enjoy this process. Let's start. So I used to sell wreaths and farmhouse signs, baby letters, like baby names, if you guys remember when those were really popular about, oh gosh, 10 years ago, I used to make all that. And it was so hard for me because in my mind, it wasn't perfect because I saw the little imperfections and it was hard for me to sell my stuff. And then when I would, I would always apologize for it. And then later on, I learned that what makes handmade items so amazing is that they're unique and not there are no two things that are exactly the same and as soon as you just let your creativity flow whether it's with making a wreath or decorating your house or cleaning or whatever the case may be I mean this really applies to so many things once you get up that perfection that idea of perfection you can have so much more fun even with parenting and having the kids it's like if you just go with the flow and enjoy the moment i'm telling you get rid of your agenda get ready get rid of your expectations life can be so much sweeter and i am not saying this because i'm a pro and i'm just saying i am not a pro i struggle constantly i like a clean house i like things in order and it is hard for me to just let all caution to the wind. But when I'm crafting, this is why it's such a stress relief for me. It's why it's so good for my soul is because I am just unabandoned and I am just completely going with it. I'm in a, like a higher mindset and it feels so, so good. When I leave my craft table or whatever I'm doing, I feel so invigorated and energized. So I really want you guys to find a way to get into something like making a wreath or some other creative stuff, you are gonna feel so much better. I also get that same feeling when I'm cleaning. That's why I like to clean so much. Jump into the car on a Friday night, I wanna drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, i never seen a sky so blue. So I'm going to run some wire through the foliage here, these florals. You do not have to do this. This is just something I do. Definitely not necessary. The hot glue will work just fine. The main thing is leave about an inch or a half an inch off of the floral so you can poke it through the bottom. And then lay your flowers on the wreath exactly the way you like it before you start gluing things down. Okay, so I am all done and it was a lot lighter. 
but when I started cleaning everything up, there was some foliage left, and honestly, I didn't want to find a home for it right now, and I didn't want to have any overflow, so I just filled this thing completely up, so I'm going to show you what it looks like now. It's a little more full, and I like it like this. I think it turned out really good. I'm very pleased. It's got all of my Lynn Vibes, my blue hydrangeas and gorgeous magnolias. I mean, it got a little bit of aqua in here. This is so me. So, so, so me. And earlier when I was like, you got to throw perfection out the window. Because when you get started, you may have an idea, but things change. And you have to go with the flow. That's what makes this process so relaxing and um, invigorating. It's just being in that creative flow and that like peaceful mindset. It's so good for my soul. Making wreaths is honestly one of my favorite things to do of all time. I used to make them all the time and I miss it. But yeah, I'm really pleased. Let me show you what it looks like up close. So there it is. It's definitely, it is definitely more full, but I like it. I added more of these, more of these throughout, more eucalyptus, and I'm thinking it came out really pretty. Let me know in the comments below what colors pop out to you during the summertime. Blue, neon colors, pastel colors, like, you know, it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong answers. I'm just curious. Usually, I'm feeling like pinks and like yellow, but I really, really wanted a blue wreath. I love the magnolias. Y'all know I love magnolias. And these hydrangeas um, are like lifelike. They feel really real. So I'm really pleased. I love, it looks very summery, almost like a succulents all throughout. I kept the magnolia leaves and then the hydrangea leaves in here too as filler. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep the bow. I'm not sure yet. Let me know in the comments if you would keep the bow. I don't love the blue, but then I love that it's tying in down here. I'll probably change things because I can't leave well enough alone, but. Sorry, the sun's kind of back there. If you guys end up making anything that I show you on my channel, or you are inspired in any way, shape, or form, please make sure you tag me on Instagram because I would love to see that and I would love to share it with everybody else. But if you feel so inclined to make yourself a wreath, it's really super easy to do. Just be creative. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Just have fun with it. It makes your front door so inviting. And then if you want to add it throughout the house, add them throughout the house. That's beautiful too. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go check out Katie's channel. This is her new Strictly Cleaning Motivation channel. So I would love for you guys to head over there. Give her a warm welcome. Let her know that Lynn sent you. And if you haven't yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we go any further. And I have, I have so many good videos coming up and I want you to be a part of that. I love all of you so much. I appreciate you more than you know, and I will see y'all in the next one.